Hi, my name is Uday. I work for an MNC in Hyderabad as a management consultant towards the IT advisory side of the house. The trip I'm doing from Hyderabad to Vizag, uh, it took a little bit of planning. I planned the journey like in five lapses. The first one starting from my home in Hyderabad in Mayapur to Suryapet. The second being from Suryapet to Vijayawada. The third from Vijayawada to Rajamandri and the last one from Rajamandri to Vizag. Okay, the charging is completed and I guess we're all set to go. Head east on National Highway 65 toward Mirpur Metro Deport Road. So, in regards to the charging of the electric vehicles, people have a lot of apprehensions. From my point of view, it's been a smooth ride so far for me. In the city, it kind of delivered around 250 kilometers per single charge with normal driving conditions and the AC on. While my experience on the highways during the long drives is that it clocked up to 270 kilometers. To get a lot of range while driving an electric vehicle, I suggest using a single pedal driving. You accelerate and reduce the acceleration by assessing what comes a little forward. You know, you have to be a little more cautious and try to manage the entire vehicle speed using a single pedal. So, the first leg of the journey is completed and we reached the 7-foot court in Surya Pete, which has a fast charger. The best way to get the best output while your air conditioning is on, on your long drives, is use your econ. I have also witnessed the best results driving it at a 26 degrees centigrade. Now there is enough charge to get going with the next leg of a journey. EV should always be driven the EV way. It's very unlike the combustion engine. It's very silent, very smooth, superb transmission, wonderful road handling. When I came across Tata Nexon EV, I was just taken away by the excellence in road control, the you know, driving efficiency, the power it generates. Wow. Another aspect that actually drove me to get an EV is its ability to not pollute the environment. Regenerative braking helps you to churn some energy or charge up your battery while driving. While you drive, if you are able to forecast the need to brake or reduce your speeds and do not do it immediately, that's when regenerative power is obtained. Here we reach a second planned charging station in Vijayawada where we have the Tata Fast Charger outside the NG showroom. For me, it's real fun going on long distance drive at the comfort of your own personal car. Nothing like it. It's kind of an addiction to, you know, daily get into the Nexon EV and drive. Well, about predictive driving, if you try to do all of this, stopping your vehicle or accelerating your vehicle in a very linear fashion, that's when you gain a lot of energy or save a lot of battery power. Here we are at our third planned charging point, Sivashankar Tata Motors showroom in Rajamandri. The road from Vijayawada to Rajamandri was bad due to a lot of construction work happening. Staying back tonight in Rajamandri and start the journey from Rajamandri to Vaisak, the last leg of our journey, tomorrow morning. My sincere thanks to Tata Motors for making this possible that today I'm able to drive an electric car all the way from Hyderabad to Vaisak. With the rapid expansion of EV charging infrastructure, Tata Motors is committed to foster adoption of e-mobility. Nexon EV, drive the lightning.